two seconds, game clock and shot clock. Harden, sizing up Harper. It's a three. <laughs> that kind of weather to deal with in Houston. I told him we'd get him a big tote. He'd be good. He'd be a man about that. Harden, how about it? The shimmy shake from James. Suck. He deserved a free throw. Doesn't get it, but the crowd. Clear it for Harden. Peaks of the clock. Harden got a body bump. Harden heaves it up. Harden! Rebound away. Seventh triple double of Harden's career. Two sixers going after it, but they communicated oh, there from the oh, oh, oh. Who won the trade? Only out a little bit. Four on the shot clock for Harden. Makes his own, takes his own. Take by Harden! Fires a pass, corner, three, Tucker finally dying. And... Uh oh. Harden is picked up by Brown. Ooh. Harden on the move, oh. to tie the game! Oh. Oh. Wow! Here, yeah, James doubling up the Clippers. Clean up on aisle three. Clean up on aisle three. Someone call someone because there's a clean up on aisle three as a man is down. Said this arena wasn't buzzing. It's buzzing now. And Hart. Hart's licking his chops. Oh man! Oh. Oh. He fell down. And oh. Oh. was something to watch. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Ardizzi, and today I'm here with my review on the James Harden 7 Drew League Edition shoes. Now, I recently went to watch my boy Shay and Ty Glover play in the Drew League, and the Drew actually blessed me with a pair of these kicks. So I want to start off by saying thank you to the Drew and Adidas. I truly appreciate it. Now, this year marked the 50th anniversary of the Drew League, and if you know anything about basketball, then you know that the Drew League is the mecca of basketball on the West Coast. They've had some of the NBA's greatest players of all time play on their floor, including Kevin Durant, LeBron James, and the one and only Kobe Bryant. They've also had a lot of LA grown natives play in this league, like DeMar DeRozan, James Harden, and Brandon Jennings. Now the dope thing about these kicks is they are exclusive only to the Drew League, so you can't actually go and buy these in the store. You would have actually had to have played in the Drew League to even get your hands on the pair of these. So super dope. I love the way these shoes look. I'm the type of person, I don't like to wear basic shoes, I like shoes that stand out on the court with like the wild colors or designs. From the gold in the front to the puffer on the side, these shoes are right up my alley. I love this ankle sock cover that they have on the inside. It makes you feel like you're wearing ankle braces. It's super snug fit. It's really comfortable. I think if you actually had to wear ankle braces to play in though, it may be a little tight. But other than that, they feel great. Now I have a pretty wide foot and I didn't have any discomfort wearing these in the toe area. I know certain shoes for me, if I put them on, I have to break them in because I they're more built for narrow feet. So if you have a, a smaller foot, you may wanna go a half size down. But for me, these felt great. Moving on to the weight of this shoe, this shoe's more on the heavier side. I'm used to playing in like uh, lighter shoes like the Kobe's. So for me, this was a pretty heavy shoe. But to be honest, I didn't feel any major differences when I was on the court. The extra stability I had with them being a little bit heavier actually was a comfort. Now I love how these shoes have the two traction designs on them. These definitely felt like good moving around on the court. I feel like I could stop on a dime, even doing like, you know, the signature James Harden step back jumper. And even taking off for dunks, I felt like I was getting a good plant right before I was taking off. So the traction on these shoes is pretty amazing. I'm not sure how they would last outside because I know usually when they have like the translucent type shoes, they kind of don't last as long outside. But for inside, man, these were great. Now I love the signature colorway with the green and the gold. This is definitely a Drew Lee colorway. And of course they got the slogan, no excuse, just produce. They also have Drew League written on the inside of the shoe and they have the patented gold logo, James Harden with the Drew League on the other side. I think overall I would give these shoes a nine out of 10. It's been a while since I've played in an Adidas shoe. I'm usually like a Nike kid, but these shoes are pretty incredible. I feel like I was getting to my bag though, a little, you know what I'm saying, tween cross, 
step through Euro trap. I mean, I'm just playing. <laughs> Nah, but in all serious, man, it's been a while since I've worn Adidas. I think actually the, these kind of remind me of the Kobe's, the old school Kobe Adidas ones. They used to call them the moon shoes. But uh, I remember I used to love those too. So this kind of has that reminiscent style of those old school Kobe's, man. And I know Kobe was Harden's favorite player, so I'm sure he got the inspiration from those. I look forward to watching James Harden continue to play with these while he's on the Clippers. And man, who knows? I'm probably gonna have to start hooping in these a little bit more. If you like these types of videos of me reviewing shoes or even if you want me to go hoop in them, leave a comment down below and uh, I'll make another video playing in these and show you how they, they look playing in them. Also, let me know if you like these shoe type review videos. I mean, I have a bunch of shoes I could review. That would be super dope to just play in them and review, let you guys know how you feel, man. I know growing up for me, having someone review the shoe before I bought them would have been a major help because, you know, I couldn't afford a lot of shoes. So just having someone tell me what the shoe was like before I bought it would have been dope. Also, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, man. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.